23-year-old Pavanat Supawang, Amy to her family, is normally a light sleeper, but at nap time on Thursday, she stayed fast asleep under a blanket, oblivious to the tragedy unfolding around her. 22 children stabbed to death in Amy's nursery. To her mother, Panampe Sithong, it's a miracle she survived. My kid is not a deep sleeper. I believe there must be some spiritual thing covering her eyes and ears. We have different beliefs, but to me, I think that protected my kid. Amy was the only child in the nursery to have escaped unscathed after former police officer Panya Kamrup burst into the nursery, one stop in a rampage through the town of Utaisawan that killed more than 30 people. The person who checked on my kid saw that she had no blood stains. So that person walked over to other deceased kids' bodies to take a look. At that moment, Amy just woke up. She stood with her face facing the wall as Amy was sleeping at the far end. She slept in the corner opposite her best friend named Tachin because they slept in two rows. As the rescuers saw her waking up, they covered her with a blanket and carried her out so the child didn't know anything, didn't know what had happened. On Sunday, the family's home was bustling with relatives and neighbors sharing food and reflections on the tragedy. They sat in a circle around Amy, heaping blessings and tying white threads on her wrists for luck. The celebration bittersweet in a community flooded with grief. I have no words. I'm in shock. I feel for other families when I visit them, but when I turn around and look at myself, I'm glad that my kids survived. It's a mixed feeling of sadness and gratitude. Amy's parents said she seems to have no memory of the attack. She was asking her grandmother, why don't you pick up Tachin back from school? And her grandmother told her that Tachin is already dead and also the teacher. She only knows that the teacher and her friend Tachin are dead, but she doesn't know that all her friends are all gone.